Laminia Mall Nasrawi Ibana is probably the best wonder kid right now. And I don't just mean in football. This Spanish winger has solidified himself as potentially the next Messi at only 16 years old. Unlike with others like Bulhan, Ansu Fati and the likes, this title seems valid as he has already outscored Messi at that age. In this video, we'll take a deeper look at the full story of why we believe Yamal is unstoppable on his path to surpassing Lionel Messi. Please subscribe and now let's get to another Footballers Weekly. Born in July 2007, only a year after Lionel Messi won his first Champions League at 19, Yamal looks like he could be a key player in FC Barcelona's goals of winning the UEFA Champions League and potentially La Liga. At the writing of this video, he has scored 6 goals and delivered 7 assists in his breakout season. Compared to Messi who played only 500 minutes in his debut season, Yamal already has over 2000 minutes under his belt. Despite the team being largely inconsistent, he is delivered when called upon. Who is Lamine Yamal? Lamine Yamal was born in Barcelona to a Moroccan father and Equatorial Guinean mother. He joined La Masia in 2012 when he was 5 years old, the same year Messi scored 91 goals. To illustrate his immense talent further, he started playing for the under-16 when he was only 13 and got promoted to the first team at just 15 years old. He skipped the Barcelona B team, making his debut for the first team on the 29th of April 2023 against Real Betis, setting the record for the youngest Barca debut at 15 years and 9 months, overtaking Vicente Martinez's record that stood since 1941. He came on for Gavi in that match, and if not for a save by Ruiz Silva, he'd have scored a historic goal. Since then he's been on a rise. His talent is undeniable, as even the manager of Napoli, Francesco Calzona said, he has the qualities to become one of the best in the world, adding that he already plays like a veteran at 16 years of age. Javi Hernandez, his manager and a Barcelona legend who played alongside Lionel Messi said, Yamal has traits of Messi in him. So far, he fits the mold of the Argentine superstar and there's no telling how far this kid will go. He's valued at 16 million euros on transfer mark, yet Barcelona recently rejected an offer from Paris Saint-Germain worth 200 million euros for Yamal, refusing to do the same thing they did with Neymar in 2017 despite being in financial problems. But if all of this isn't enough to sell you on Yamal, here are some standout performances from his brief yet insane tenure on the Barcelona first team along with a few from his national team career. Number 1. Yamal vs Mallorca on the 8th of March 2024 The most recent match at the writing of this video and the one that inspired this video to begin with, Barcelona were heading for another 0-on-0 zero zero draw with 15th place Mallorca following Gondohan's penalty miss. A draw would have set them much further back in the title race behind Real Madrid and Girona. However, in the 73rd minute, Yamal struck in a beauty from Lewandowski's pass, giving the Catalans the 3 points. It was only his 4th La Liga goal of the season, but it could go down as his most important one yet. Number 2. Yamal vs Villarreal on the 27th of August 2023 from a match where Yamal scored a winning goal to a game where Yamal helped set up the opening goal and the winning goal, this match day 3 encounter was very much Yamal's coming out party and he's shown. In a 7 goal thriller which Barca won 4 on 3, Yamal's corner was headed in by Gavi in the 12th minute and in the 71st minute with a score 3 on 3. Yamal shot at goal and it fed a hungry Robert Lewandowski who put the ball in the back of the net to secure a W for Barcelona against the Yellow Submarine. These two matches show that at his young age, he's very much a clutch player who has won Barcelona points, but there are other memorable performances. Number 3. Yamal vs Georgia Euro Qualification Round 5 this wasn't a match that he needed to shine, as Spain were already up 4 on 0 when he replaced an injured Danny Almo. Yet he took his chance and scored Espana's final goal in a 7 on 1 win against the Caucasus nation. He's more than certainly going to be on the Spain squad for the Euros in Germany this summer, so expect him to make an impact. Number 4. Yamal vs Sevilla on the 29th of September 2023 Clutch assists come in all shapes and sizes, and Yamal heading the ball that led to Sergio Ramos' own goal which gave Barca the victory counts. This was another 0-on-0 zero zero draw that looked to be the final result till Yamal came in clutch indirectly. That's a regular occurrence, and nowhere is that better seen than in our next inclusion. Number 5. 
Jamal vs Granada on the 11th of February 2024. With a lot of these, Jamal scores the goals whenever Barcelona needs a victory, but in this case, they were on the verge of losing till Jamal put them back on the good foot. After scoring the first goal in the 10th minute, Jamal watched Barca go behind twice and concede three more goals. In the 80th minute, he scored only his third La Liga goal, but by doing it, salvaged a point for the Blue and Red boys. For my money, this is by far his best individual performance in a Barcelona shirt. Yet somehow, it's not his only star performance against Granada. Number 6. Jamal vs Granada on the 8th of October 2023 Barcelona fell behind against relegation contenders Granada by two goals by the time the first half was about to end. However, just before the players hit the showers, Jamal scored a goal in injury time to give Barcelona some much-needed momentum going into halftime. The match still ended as a 2-on-2 draw, but his performance earned him the Man of the Match award according to SofaScore. Number 7. Jamal vs Cyprus Euro Qualification Round 9 With Spain already qualified for the tournament, Jamal decided to give the world a preview of how he intends to perform in Germany. Only 5 minutes into the match, Jamal scored the first goal in a 3-on-1 win against the Cyprians. With Spain getting a difficult group that includes Mediterranean neighbors Italy and Croatia, Jamal will be a key asset for them in this tournament. Number 8. Jamal vs Osasuna Supercopa de España semi-final If he keeps up like this, he might change his name to Lamine match winner Jamal. The 16-year-old scored the second and winning goal against Osasuna to fire them into the final of the Spanish Super Cup to face Real Madrid. They may have gone on to lose the final in brutal fashion, but he played a major role in getting them there. Number 9. Others to add to the ones listed, other great performances include him contributing to Lewandowski's two goals against Celta Vigo, his assist against Real Betis, and his assist in their extra time Copa del Rey quarterfinal loss to Athletic Club Bilbao. So with all these performances listed, it shows one thing, he plays a lot. But is that a good thing? Is he overused for his age? With all of this, it's easy to understand why the comparisons with Lionel Messi are so rampant. Like the Argentine, he became a star at a young age, but unlike the Argentine, he has played over 2,000 minutes as a 16 years old. On one hand, he's a clutch player who comes in handy when needed with both goals and assists. Regardless of age, a player like this is an important asset to any team he's on. Other than that though, there's the possibility of burnout or pressure getting to him. However, I believe neither will happen. Jamal has always played at a level higher than his age and hasn't disappointed because he's just that good. Also, he's getting needed experience that will benefit his career in the long run. Like his 19-year-old teammate Gavi, you shouldn't be looked down on for wanting to play more. Overall, Jamal is a generational talent who will be a key player in the youthful Barcelona machine for the coming decade. In the words of Napoli's manager, if he doesn't get lost along the way, he has a good chance of becoming a world top player. Is Lamine Jamal the next big thing in the footballer world? Watch him and drop your answers and opinions in the comment box. Also, don't forget to like this video and why not also subscribe to this channel to get more football videos like this. See you in the next video.